get motivated anytime, anywhere, gain control over a bad mood, and the acronym that's guaranteed to give you a better life. Welcome to No Bow Tie, where we conquer emptiness and frustration, discover our uniqueness, and live with relentless joy. I'm John No Bow Tie Swoboda, author and musician. Today we're going to talk about the chemistry of the brain and how you can control it to create a better future. Be sure to subscribe. Maybe you've had this happen. You've set a bunch of goals and you've reached them and you felt good about it. And at the end of the day, you had that feeling of conquering it. And then you woke up the next day and you just, without making a to-do list, you felt empty. You needed more goals to reach. And this time you felt like you even wanted to raise the bar on some of the accomplishments. Well, that'll make you feel great. And then again, you wake up the next day and you have a sense of emptiness. And then you reach the big one. You, you're first in your, in your league. You, you get the big prize, the big trophy, the big paycheck. And it's still, you wake up feeling empty. What is going on with that? It's your neurochemistry in your brain. It's not knowing how to control that emptiness inside of you. And it becomes very frustrating when all you can do is seek more to have the feeling of accomplishment. It doesn't have to be that way. Let me tell you an acronym that will help you control the way you feel every day in every situation. The acronym is the word codes. C-O-D-E-S. It's that simple. And each letter is the, the first letter of a neurochemical that is most important in how you feel. Every time you feel a certain way, no matter what it is, your neurochemicals are deciding your experience in life. Isn't it time you decide by controlling that? So let's take the first one. C. Cortisol. We're going to start with it because it is the feeling of bad. It's when you're, you're the one who's not invited and you feel a sense of loss. It's when you get the paper back and the grade isn't what you thought. It's when somebody breaks up with you. You go out and somebody has uh, scratched your car. That feeling you get, that's cortisol. Now, cortisol is a necessary neurochemical. If you don't have that, you'll totally ignore that you're out of food and you'll ignore what your children need. That bad feeling motivates to do something about it. Okay, set that aside because we're about to feel better. The O, oxytocin. That's the sense of connection. That's hugging. That's loving. That's touching. That's laughing with other people. The sense of connection. We've got to have it. The next one, D, dopamine. This is the popular one. <laughs> this is the popular one. It's mostly tied to addiction. If you hear, hear anybody going through a bad addiction with either cocaine or eating or gambling or horse racing or whatever. It's the dopamine that they're trying to achieve, not the, not the activity itself. They're trying to keep the dopamine levels up so that they feel exhilarated. It doesn't have to be that way. You can have dopamine levels charged in your life in ways that are very healthy. The next one, endorphins. Endorphins are the ones popular for masking pain. I experience when I run, that I'll be exhausted, but I'm involved in an accomplishment and the endorphins will come in and mask the pain in my body and the anguish in my mind to help me finish that. You experience in other ways too. The last one, serotonin, my favorite one. Serotonin is the feeling of, I did it. I'm okay with myself. Serotonin is when you can sit by yourself and be proud of who you are. Serotonin can get out of hand when you need it constantly and it's not coming from you. The only way, for example, that you get it is that uh, somebody pulls you aside and tells you how great you are. And you know, then you have the oxytocin and the serotonin coming in. But when that is gone, you don't feel so great and you don't have it yourself. So codes, cortisol, oxytocin, dopamine, endorphins, and serotonin. The thing that is wonderful is that when you know about these, you can control them. For example, let's say that your uh, cortisol is out of whack and you're crabby and you're grumpy and you're depressed. If you know that's the chemical out of whack, you know that's circulating in your mind and your body, 
you can stop and say, hey, I need to balance that. I need to remember my faith in the future. You know, faith is dopamine. Uh, dopamine is what you don't have. It's what acquiring what you don't have. When you say, I need to pay attention to my faith or I need to pay attention to my connection with other people, it will help balance that out. When it gets way out of whack, it takes longer and it takes more effort. That's why we don't want to let it get way out of whack. So when you go through the day, you can mix all of these. A really good balance can be had by involving yourself in meaningful ways that stretch your ability toward a vision in the future. I'm going to say it again. To involve yourself in meaningful ways that stretch your ability toward a vision of the future. That involves all of the wonderful neurochemistry that keeps it in a healthy setting. Now that you know the incredible power that you have over your mentality every day, you can use it. Be sure to tune in next week because we're going to talk about applying this to get what you want specifically in life. It's going to be very exciting. It's going to be very energizing. To be sure you're the first one to get this show, go to nobowtie.com slash life and you'll be glad that you did. Now, before I go, I'm going to play for you a piece where I'm going to completely remove the bow tie from a Beethoven piece. And this is where I get my dopamine and my serotonin cooking. And you can just tell I feel good about it. And it's something I can do tomorrow and I can feel even better. So stay creative, stay unique, and live the best life.